Okay, question six um, is one of our area questions. It's not an integration question though, it's to do with sectors and circles and stuff. Now this isn't a circle, it's two arcs that have kind of been squashed together. So there's, there's a bit missing that's stopping them from being circles. It's a bit of, it's a strange looking shape, but essentially what we've got, it says is two sectors Um, that's this bit here and then the same underneath from the other side like this my pictures aren't going to be great but um, hopefully you get the idea um, so if I undo that last bit that'll make it look a little bit easier um, to, to work with now if we draw a line from D to B we can find the area of so DAB is all of this. So we can find that area quite easily um, by doing the area of a sector minus the area of this triangle, which is this white triangle here. Um, if we then take away the area of this triangle, that will get us um, the top two pink bits. And then we can double our answer to get the bottom. So that's, that's my thinking, that's my plan. Um, how do we do that though? We're going to need to know um, some information. We're going to need to know the this angle here. Um, so how do we find that angle? Well, if we look up at the top, well, let's look at this first. We know that this length here is two. So this angle here will be um, the inverse cos because this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse, the inverse cos, so OAB of a half. And if we work in radians, we can use the nice easy half r squared theta um, equation to work out the area. So I'm doing inverse cos of a half on my calculator in radians, that's pi over 3, which means that the whole of that angle up there is 2 pi over 3. So this angle up here is 2 pi over 3, and if we go on my picture, this angle down here is 2 pi over 3. That's going to now allow us to work out... Um, the whole of the area of this sector. So if I put the C down here, area of sector um, C, D, let's put the A in there, C, D, A, B, is going to be a half R squared. Now what's R? R is the radius, which is this here. So that's 4 times theta, the angle, which is 2 pi over 3. Lots of this cancels, those 2's cancel, so we're going to get 16 pi over 3. So all of this, everything here, so these two pink bits and the full area of the rhombus, because remember the rhombus is, is made up of that, is equal to 16 pi over 3. What are we going to do next? Next, we're going to find the area of this triangle here. Okay. So area of triangle D, A, B, which has two sides of length four and an angle of two pi over three, that area so area D, A, B, we can do um, half A, B sine C. So that's going to be half of 4 times 4 times sine of 2 pi over 3. Which is 4 root 3. So we know that 
everything except for these two bits is equal to 16 pi over 3. We know that two bits, this top triangle or this bottom triangle, is equal to 4 pi over 3. So if we take the area of the sector CDAB and minus two triangles, because we've got the triangle up here, so this is 4 pi over 3, and this is 4 pi over 3, we'll get these two pink bits from the top, and then we just need to double our answer. So area of the sector, 16 pi over 3, minus two lots of 4 root 3, which I'm just going to write as 16 pi over 3, minus 8 root 3. If we double that answer, so that's the area of two pink bits, so shaded area will equal two of these, two lots of 16 pi over 3 minus 8 root 3. Now, that's not quite what they've got. They've taken out a factor of the 3 from here as well. In order to do that, we need to make or pretend that this is written as something over 3. So over 3, that would need to be 24. 24 over 3 is 8. Now we can take out 2 thirds. So that's 16 pi minus 24 root 3.